Good morning, it's Frankenstein. I've stopped off at Dollar General on my way to the buffalo fields. Let's see if there's anything in here. Is that butter? Is it cinnamon rolls and butter? And cheese? Mm. I think we better get in there. This is a Frappuccino. The uh, Starbucks Frappuccino is down here. That's what's messy up here. Okay. I'll leave the rest.
giant bin hit my, hit my bladder. So when I went to step on it, it was like that. And it went, luckily I stung. That was close. Okay, let's get it in the car. Hello, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. It has been a while since we've had an awesome Dollar General dive and haul, and this haul is fantastic. It's a blessing. It's amazing. It's thematic. We're in the dairy section of the store today, for the most part. So let's take a look. It's good. Alrighty, we have four Baby Binks hollow chocolate Easter rabbits that look like someone ran them over with the lawnmower? Pretty much, yeah. Like, uh-oh. Alrighty, we have four lactose-free, half gallons, 2% milk, the best by date of June 1st, 2023. And in case you didn't know it, you can freeze milk. We also have two full gallons of vitamin D whole milk with the sell-by date of 429. And we've got half and half with the date of June 3rd, 2023. We have three International Delight Creamers, just the kind that the friends like to drink. Manhattan Hazelnut Mocha. I don't recall them ever ordering anything with Manhattan Hazelnut Mocha Creamer. I just don't buy it. We also have Hazelnut Coffee Creamer. We've got yogurt. We have four Yo Play, well, two strawberries, two strawberry banana and a nine gram of protein, Greek yogurt, strawberry cheesecake, light and fit. Plus we have a Yo Crunch with M&Ms on top and a Yo Crunch with Snickers on top. Sort of defeats the point of yogurt if you ask me. You can take those off and save them and do other things with them. You know, you don't have to stir them into your yogurt. We've got three sour creams. Look at the sell by date, May 20th, 2023. We have eight packages of sandwich slices, which are not actually cheese per se, but they're an imitation pasteurized processed cheese type food, which is slightly concerning. But when you're hungry, that's a concern too. Best by 10, 19, 23. Looks like cheese. Alrighty, we have your original Dairy Whip topping. Four Schwert bottles of them. That's fun for going into summer. You know, hot fudge sundaes and all that. Butter. This is what I'm really excited about. I'm always excited about butter. Sweet cream butter salted. Seven pounds. Freaking awesome. Guess who's making ghee today? I'll just make one little jar. Don't get upset about it. Don't get upset. Don't get upset. You'll have plenty of your own butter. Remember the other day at Walmart, we saw a pint jar of ghee, just like the ones I made yes. many of. That was Do you remember how much it cost? $8. $8 for one pint of ghee. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. We have a suddenly salad pasta kit, which these are quite delicious. We haven't had these in a long time, but I got a lot of them free when they first came out, yeah, couponing, and they were really good. They are. We have five tubes of cinnamon rolls. I was going to tell you uh, a cinnamon roll story the other day, and I'm going to tell you now. Okay. I'm telling you now, Frugal Daddy, I'm telling you too, Frugal Friends. One time my mother sent me a cinnamon roll dough baking kit from some fancy online, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the Pampered Chef or something. Or well, something like Blue that. Blue Apron. Or, or something. Or, yeah. or something. Um, With a cute name. Some, yes, exactly. Some cutesy like thing in Vermont. Mm -hmm. And so this package arrived and I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. So it just sat there in my front hall for like <sighs> three weeks. Uh -huh. And then I finally opened it and I was like, oh shit, it's food. And I just let it sit here. And the dough had started to rise. I mean, it was oh, puffy, oh, right? That'd be cool. If so I, I baked it. Oh. Even yeah. though I kind of thought like, hmm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was before my dumpster diving days. So I had more concerns about you know, dough sitting out for three weeks in my yeah. hallway. And it was completely fine. Completely, completely, and utterly fine. Really? Yeah. Which is to say, I, it doesn't worry me at all that these might have been unrefrigerated for, I don't even, I'm sure it hasn't been three weeks, and I bet they're fine. I mean, the containers aren't open. Yeah, they have, well, now we might want to save the ones that are popped open. Well, no, because they've got <laughs> germs and stuff. 
You're gross, Daddy. We have two six packs of flavored milks. We have vanilla milk and strawberry milk, and those are 300 calories for a fairly small bottle, which to me is a lot of sugar there. We've also got ham, four boneless ham steaks. It's a nice thick hunk of ham. It is. That would be good chopped up, like diced up and made into some kind of ham casserole. It sounds very, what does that sound? It sounds Amish Amy? to me. Yeah. Like oh, ham Amish, casserole, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Well done for the bedding. This is one of our best Dollar General hauls. I mean, I love Dollar General because you get such a unexpected and weird variety yes. of, of items. But this is great. I mean, the butter, just the butter. If you had just come home with one pound of butter, I would have been excited. I know. Like, Look, free butter, yay. Seven pounds, that's awesome. If I drove to Aldi and got one pack of butter every day, I'd be happy. I would too. I think you can freeze sour cream, but as I recall, it's, it's weird when you thaw yeah, it out. I mean, you wouldn't want to use it, like a dollop of it on top of your no. your chili or dip your quesadilla into it, but you could use it if you had a recipe, like a lot of chocolate cakes have sour cream in the recipe. And that coffee cake that I make has sour cream in the recipe. Just saying, if we couldn't otherwise find a use for it and had a freezer. Oh my God, look at that bee. It's like a freaking hummingbird. Go Ukraine! Woo! I'm standing firm on that. Oh, me too. Don't try to keep me from throwing cheese at Putin.